in this screencast we are going to create a virtual host on a local machine I have XAN installed on my drive C um, here it is now let's quickly jump in there you know all sites that we are going to define our machine by default should be within the HD docs so let's quickly open that directory or folder now let's define a new site it's just by dropping a new folder in here um, let's give it a name let's call it example right now once we finish creating a site for you to access this within a browser you can do that by typing this now I have opened um, Mozilla Firefox which is undoubtedly the best of browsers for <laughs> web development and other stuff now for us to quickly access the site we just created, we, we have to type HTTP and then the name of the machine, localhost, or you can use the loopback address. That's um 127.0.0.1 slash the name of the site. But for this reason, let's just stick to the localhost, right? Slash the name of the site, which happens to be example. Now because there's no content within the site you created this is what we have um let's quickly go back to the site and place a file in there so that we don't get to see all of these things so here we are let's just create a new php file um let's call it okay let's call it index all right and let's 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 edit its content now here we are i'm editing the file in notepad plus plus but then be mindful of the extension is index.txt we'll, we'll have to change this later on now let's um define the language let's say it's using php right so we can easily start typing something and let's just say echo this is a virtual this is a virtual host setup let's say screen screencast yeah we're done let's just save our file save us um and let's change the extension that's php yeah so at this stage we are through with the creation of our sample index that's php file here we are so we can basically get rid of this index.txt file txt file yeah let's go back to our browser and see what we have now here we are so we basically need to refresh and see what you have yeah so you see it has automatically picked the content of the index.php file this this is a virtual host setup now mind you it will automatically pick any index dot um php and then other index dot something something file that you have within the site so we don't necessarily have to manually put this thing in there right now back to what we want to do right now we want to be able to access this same site using something like um, www.example.local right and now if you try this this is the error you get but this is what we want to have so let's just quickly start working around that yeah this is our site once again in order to create the virtual host we primarily need to edit two set of files now let's start by editing the virtual host file within the apache itself now within the just move to the zam directory right and then you'll find the apache directory in there or the apache folder double click on that now access the conf or the configuration folder and then the extra directory or folder right 
now move to this file httpd dash vhost.config let's add a new entry in there now basically this is the content of the file with some sample entries in here which you can basically look at but then the most important thing is you should always have this line in there make sure that this line is always in there otherwise it will prevent you from accessing the local host street assume you need to access your database and other things using php admin now for you to create a new virtual host right here are samples of some that i've already created so what i'm saying is just maintain this entry right once you are done you can just let's copy this and change the name now what name do we want to use to access that particular site we say we want it to be www.example.local right and then where is that site stored on your local machine now we know it's on czamp htdocs but then we put the name of this site there which is sample right so we are through with the virtual host configuration within apache once you are through with this we need to edit another file within the windows itself so from here let's edit the other required file which happens to be a windows specific file so we move to drive c move to windows and then system 32 access the it the drivers folder right and then the etx folder now when you come in here these are the sort of files we're going to see um if you're not really sure just make a backup of your hosts file it has no extension right so you can just make a, a backup of it which i have here so that in case anything goes wrong i just restore the file now let's edit this so you right click i want to edit with notepad plus plus but then again you can use any text editor or something now these are the contents of the host file right now in yours maybe you see something like this i've added other things to it that's why you are seeing all of this now if you look at the basic structure it's very simple all you need to do is to move to a new line Let, let's just copy one of these and put it there all right and then the name of the site we say we want to access it just example.local once you are done just save your file and that's that's it it's left with one last thing we have to do now with all the configurations done we only have to tell apache to load the configuration file again by restarting the apache server right you can do that from the zamp control just click on that okay mine's already running let me let me quickly open it yeah so all that we need to do now is to just stop the apache server right um yeah i think it stopped and just start it for you to just read the configuration files again yeah um let's be sure this thing is running let's start it now once the Apache server gets started, our program should run properly. The virtual host should be completely done. Let's access the page again. Well, finally, the Apache has started running. Let's get back to our browser and then test what we've done so far. Right? Um, let's just refresh. You see? So right now, you can basically access your sites using the virtual host we created so you can give it any extension of your choice i hope this screencast has been useful bye